Hey, welcome to another episode of AJ Opens Boxes, a show where AJ, that's me, opens up uh, boxes or things that are box, just things get opened occasionally they're in boxes. So I uh, obviously got the, the DC Primal Age, got the Batman and the, the uh, Mr. Freeze there, two of my favorites, but you know, there's, there's a couple other cool ones that I, they went on sale, so I got them there. I just, just couldn't help myself. Well, I could, I just chose not to. I, I mean, I've got some willpower and buy the entire set. Um, but the two that I got were uh, two of my favorite characters, uh, Wonder Woman and Green Lantern. Um, two characters that uh, I've always liked uh, for, for a long, long time. Green Lantern, probably one of my first uh, favorite uh, heroes. Uh, it's one of the first comic books I ever had as a kid. So um, let's open this guy up first because, uh, like I said, he's the first one I liked. So this is cool. Again, the DC Primal Age is kind of like, um, like He-Man, but, you know... Yeah, whatever, uh, but uh, but it's still just like action figures. It's a little something different than Funko does. I don't think that's it. They did that great because people they, they like the pops, but they don't like any of the new stuff. And I think Funko's they try. I think they make a lot of cool stuff, and I really like these these ones. So um, I don't know. I dig it. So there's his accessory. There is there is a uh, Green Lantern. So I like this character. He's got like a lantern like around it. Even has like the lantern symbol on it there around his neck. That's kind of neat. I mean, you know, you think about it, it's it's a little more medieval looking or whatever, so that's cool. Um, he's got a little green um, armor there that he made. Uh, of course, he's got a green chest. That The chest has got nothing on it. Um, he's got the green or the symbol, green symbol on his belt, but uh, the, the lantern around his neck is kind of cool, so that's kind of neat. And it does actually come off. You can actually, yeah, see. You pop it off, that's kind of neat. So it is kind of an accessory. So that is actually really cool. And I do like, you know, they kind of kept with the major classic styling of uh, Hal Jordan's um, co uh, costume is, you know, his more modern, non-primal age uh, costume. And of course, his, his mask, they got to have it all like, you know, like where it's like stitched together because that's part of the whole thing. So that's really cool. I really like that. Let's look at his, his he's got some cool weapons here that comes with him. He's got a, a, an assortment of weapons. Um... He's got a shield with, of course, these Green Lantern symbol. Uh, most characters have shields, so that's kind of neat. And then he's got two weapons, uh, uh, a mace and a battle axe. So he can go Megatron, he can go Optimus Prime. So that's cool. I do like Optimus Prime more, but I kind of think this mace looks kind of neat. So I think I'm going to give him that uh, if that's cool. And um, they do kind of fit in his hand-ish. Yeah, close enough. Uh, of course, he's actually got the ring on too, because he has a Green Lantern. Got to have that power ring. So, I don't know. That is um, that is really groovy. Actually, I think I could probably fit both of his weapons in his hands, because he's got two free open hands. So, anyway, I'll do that later. But uh, I don't. I really like that. I, I do like one. One of my favorite figures was Mister Freeze, and he's got like the translucent uh, weapon. So that's kind of neat that they can. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh. I don't know, whatever, that's cool. So I do like the translucent uh, weapons that they've got, you know, so that both those characters, they both create things. You know, obviously he uses the emerald energy of the of the Lantern Corps and Mr. Freeze uses ice, so it's kind of neat that they create things. So, I don't know, I think that's a really cool figure. I'm glad I got it, and I'm going to add it to my collection of, um, well, of, of, of these guys I've got. So there's that one, done with that. So now Wonder Woman, that's really cool. Um, her design, um, it's kind of weird because she has kind of got... I mean, it's more ancient Greece, whatever, not so much medieval, but, you know, that not a modern design, but, um, per se, or at least, you know, that's not modern. A lot of her designs have been kind of from ancient times, I guess maybe that's a better way to put it. So, all right, so she pops out, um, you get her weapons as well. So, there she goes. She's got a cape. That's kind of neat, um, kind of cool, uh, because why not have a cape? You know, she's, she's a cool lady. She's, you know royalty royalty you could have capes if they want to um it's a little bit different than the figures obviously they they made it more of a, it's, it's a female figure so i guess they made it different um which is similar thing which it which they did in the he-man stuff you know tila or whatever so that's that's fine but uh, she's got the same articulation she's got arm and legs uh her head kind of moves but it's it, her hair kind of makes it a little difficult and i guess her 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 cape does come off but uh i'm not gonna take it off because i don't want to because you can't make me do things I don't want to. How dare you? Uh, and she's got some cool weapons. Now her weapons is kind of funny. She actually does normally carry weapons. Um, you got your 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 lasso of truth there. You got a sword which she's been known to carry, especially more modern interpretations. And of course her shield, which is oh, oh there we go. The shield with the with the eagle 
there um, that she's been known to carry. Um, so I don't know. It's I, I yeah. That's that's the thing is like she almost like had to change the least of all the characters to become you know pr you know primal age because it said it's more it's more you know using ancient times of uh, whatever I meant to throw it. That's not true. I didn't mean to throw it. I just chimed in front of the camera. So. And I think she can actually hold all her weapons too, but I won't make her for right now. So she got sword, she got shield, mace, shield, or axe, whatever. So uh, they're the two new um, and probably the only uh, ones I'm going to add to my DC Primal Age collection. Um, super cool. I I really like this this whole series. Uh, I'm not a huge DC fan, so uh, so free. And I mean, mind you, I do like several of the characters, but uh, for me to even get any of them were it's kind of kind of rare, just because I'm not a huge DC fan. But I really like this line. I wish, I wish it had done better. I, I don't think it did very well because I did see this on clearance at um, at Target. But uh, hey, you know, you get you can uh, pop on to Target or Target.com or go to your local Target or go to Amazon. It's also another place you can get these. You can get them for a little cheaper than they were initially. Um, I think they're cool. They're cool figures. They make you know for cool. Cool setups and stuff. So uh, I'm sad that the uh, that the that the, that the line didn't do great. I, I don't think they're going to do any more. Who knows? Um, but uh, you know, I I always applaud Funko for trying at least trying to do something different. You know, they're not just going to keep doing pops and pops and pops. I mean, obviously they are at least for the time being. But uh, um, yeah, I really dig it. So there you go. There, you know, we got uh, the other ones that I've got, and then of course I got the the Target exclusive Batman in the box still. But but Get the other four out. So very cool, very neat. I dig it. I uh, wish it did better, but you know it is what it is. So there you go. Hey, let me know if in the comments below. Did you like the DC Primal Age uh, figures at all? Did you get any of them? Uh, let me know your favorites or what you think would have been better or not if they had done something different. Um, yeah. So there you go. Uh, don't forget you can always uh, check me out on social media, media, social media on Twitter. And Instagram, we're careful. On Instagram, I do post a lot of wiener pictures. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody that watches. Um, hopefully, they're, hopefully this is mildly entertaining to someone besides myself and like three of my friends. Uh, by the way, Phil Christina, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, there's that. And um, of course, if it is mildly entertaining or not, if you want to click like and subscribe uh, or smash the subscribe button, I guess a lot of a lot, of, uh, a lot of channels say that. I guess that's a cool thing to do, to smash the subscribe button. Really, you just have to click it. Don't actually smash it. You might, you know, break your computer or whatever. So don't do not do that on account of me. And that wouldn't actually help me because then your computer's broken. You can't watch. So it's a lose-lose situation. So there you go. Um, DC Primal Age. Uh, maybe it was uh, not the right time or maybe it did all right and they just, it just ran its course. Hopefully you dug it. Um, if not, that's okay too. So, but until next time, thanks for watching and keep boxing it up. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you really enjoyed that. Now, I really like the DC Primal Age figures and I hope they make a comeback, but if they don't, well, I enjoyed them while they lasted. Funko's always coming up with new stuff, so I'm sure they'll come up with more stuff. And I hope to keep opening it. One of the ways you can help me do that is by supporting this channel. Easiest is just click like and subscribe below. But if you want to subscribe even easier in a funner way, hey, click on the little iron when you up in the corner there. You can also check out more of my videos and hopefully watch and like those as well to the sides of me. And uh, until uh, DC and Funko go primal again, hey, keep boxing it up.